morning. Mm -hmm. So always a great reason to go check out Salisbury House. Beautiful place. A lot of things going on, but specifically a couple big events happening on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this weekend we're celebrating Louis Armstrong um, and Salisbury House actually has this fantastic connection Just to Louis okay. back in the 1940s. He and his band were in town doing a show at Hoyt Sherman Place sure. and after the show, Hud Weeks, who was the son of Carl Weeks, man who built Salisbury House, uh, HUD invited Louis and the band back to Salisbury House where they continued to play. Wow. Some reports say that Louis and the band stayed the night there and then on successive occasions also visited Salisbury House. So we have this really neat connection wow. to Louis. Well, Didn't even realize. You know, yeah. two, these are two of my favorite things, uh, jazz music, but Salisbury House as a venue, boy, if you haven't been, you know, sometimes, it, it, you know, you're a local, you drive by the sign a bunch of times, you don't think about actually going. You mm -hmm. really do need to go. If you've been before, go again. But matching music to that venue. I've been to your events there before, mm -hmm. but never a live music event. I think that would just be great. Yeah, we have so we have two different um, options for seeing some live music, some live jazz this weekend. <laughs> Saturday night is um, we're having a sort of a birthday party. We're throwing a birthday party for Louis Armstrong. Nice. He would be 114 uh, years old this year. So Saturday night, folks can come out for Hot Piece of Brass, which is <laughs> sort of a fun uh, party. Um, folks are invited to wear 1920s or speakeasy themed clothing, but it's certainly not re required. A uh, $35 ticket does get you uh, free beer and wine, um, appetizers, there's a champagne toast and birthday cake at the end of the night, music from um, a small group from the Turner Center Jazz Orchestra. It's just a fun night out on the town. Wow, Wonderful. great. And you said that uh, celebration continues into Sunday with another great event. Yeah, so Sunday afternoon is more of a family-friendly um, event. We'll have the doors to Salisbury House open. People can sort of wander the halls. On the South Garden, we'll have the full Turner Center Jazz Orchestra performing. Uh, we'll have vintage automobiles on the north side of the house. Um, it's really uh, rain or shine. It, it's going to be happening. So it's going to be another great opportunity to experience the property and some great jazz. And we're excited now. It looks like we've got some live music here. Yes, yes. we do. We love heading over to our Great Day Soundstage with some incredible musicians uh, here this morning. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. We have Andrew Kalassin. And who did you bring with you today? Well, I brought my good friend here, Steve Charlson, probably the best bass player here in central Iowa. Nice. Now, you guys are going to be playing at Salisbury House? Yes, we are. Nice. So give us a taste of what we can experience this weekend. <laughs>
beautiful <laughs> job. Fantastic. You know, and uh, uh, Andrew's actually the professor of trumpet at Drake University. Yes, I am professor Fantastic. of trumpet and jazz studies. Actually, the Fred and Patty Turner professor of jazz. And as a uh, professor of trumpet, what makes Louis Armstrong so great? Why do we still talk and listen to his music even today? Um, well, he's probably, well, he's considered the father of jazz. Um, Back when jazz first evolved in New Orleans, uh, it was mostly collective improvisation, everybody playing at the same time. Uh, and Louis was really the first jazz soloist. He uh, created a personal voice that uh, still resonates today. Yeah, he had a very unique sound to him, a uh, look and everything about him, you, people really just loved. And that's why, I had no idea we had a personal connection to him here in Des Moines and a reason why we're still celebrating his birthday and again, this weekend. Just imagine hearing that music at the Salisbury House venue. Let's go through the events one more time and how people can go. Uh, Saturday night we have Louis Armstrong's birthday party, a uh, hot piece of brass, and that's going to be an opportunity for folks to come and have a night out on the town um, where they can enjoy beer, wine, appetizers, uh, live jazz, and just have a, a really great night out. Sunday is more family oriented. Okay. Uh, folks can come by from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, listen to jazz in the South Gardens, um, enjoy these great vintage automobiles we're going to have out, and then to, to see Salisbury House. The house will be open as well. And, and uh, do people just go? Do they have to pre buy tickets? How do they do it? They can either purchase tickets at salisburyhouse.org or just pay when they arrive at the door on either Saturday or Sunday, whichever they prefer. And just so people know, where is Salisbury House if they haven't been there before? Yeah, Salisbury House is in Des Moines, south of Grand neighborhood. Um, if you head south, South on 42nd Street, go south of Ingersoll, south of Grand. Um, it's just about a couple blocks, um, uh, just off on Tonawanda Drive, just off of 42nd. It's, it's fun too to even drive the neighborhood and all that sort of Absolutely. thing. You're getting in a great part of town, but you know Salisbury House. I read about it a bunch of times, and one afternoon just found some time on my hands and ended up going to one of your events and just loved even being in the space and matching that music with that space, that's that's mm -hmm. a great event. One of the things we hear most often from visitors who are from Des Moines, from Iowa, they say, wow, I can't believe this is here in Iowa, in our state, and I've never been. So when people find us, they come back. There's, I mean, if I remember at part of Salisbury House, part of the timbers and stuff were brought from England, if that's right. I mean, like, it's a whole thing. It, it's like you're stepping into another country. You'd it's never think it was here. Absolutely. Salisbury House is unlike any other structure um, in, the, in the state, certainly. Carl and Edith Weeks, who built Salisbury House in the 1920s did architectural salvage before it was cool. So they were salvaging architectural features from a, a 16th century English manor house in England, shipping them to Des Moines and incorporating them into Salisbury House. Wow. So it's, it's a really incredible um, um, architectural structure, but then the collections, the grounds, everything else is just and phenomenal. And this weekend with this amazing jazz music, right. boy, I, that's a great event. That, that That is one of the things that make Des Moines cool. This is just great stuff. Perfect reason to head out there this weekend, and as we go to break, gentlemen, will you do us a favor and play some more jazz over on our Great Day Soundstage? Mm -hmm.